Once upon a time, in the vast and ever-changing world of cryptocurrencies, a question arose. Could Bitcoin's recent surge in price be a sign of a potential market top? This question lingered in the minds of investors and crypto enthusiasts alike as the market cap of Bitcoin and other altcoins continued to climb. In mid-October, the crypto market experienced a steady increase in value. Uh, Bitcoin's market cap grew and Ethereum was also on the rise. However, the growth was not limited to these two cryptocurrencies alone. In October, when Bitcoin breached the significant resistance level of $30,000, it was a pivotal moment. Another crucial psychological number loomed near BTC's current prices, adding to the intrigue. Uh, while the bulls managed to push the price past the 44k mark, uh, concerns began to emerge as they struggled uh, to maintain control of the 42k support in the following in days. Um, some worried that Bitcoin may have reached a local top, uh, signaling uh, a potential downtrend uh, in the coming months. Uh, but amidst these concerns, a group of investors emerged as unwavering supporters of Bitcoin. These hodlers, as they're affectionately known, exhibited diamond hand tendencies. Uh, crypto analyst Will Clemente discovered that over 70% of Bitcoin's circulating supply had not been moved in over a year. Uh, this is wild, Clemente exclaimed, referring to the fact that such a significant portion of Bitcoin's supply remained untouched despite the substantial price increase over the past year. As NBC crypto delved deeper into this observation, it sought to uncover the implications for Bitcoin investors. They explored a metric known as the percent of supply last active one plus years ago from Blasa. Upon closer analysis, it became evident that this metric tends to trend higher during the accumulation phase of the Bitcoin cycle. It gradually declines a few months before Bitcoin reaches its peak. This pattern was observed in 2020 when the metric began to trend lower from September of that year. Uh, interestingly, the metric reached a local bottom around October 2021 before rising again. This period coincided with Bitcoin's highs around the 60K mark, achieved twice in April and October, 2021. Uh, with the recent uptrend in the supply last active, it appeared that the market may not be nearing a top just yet. Long-term investors found inspiration in this metric, choosing to hold on to their Bitcoin or even add to their holdings. Uh, but what about the whales, those large Bitcoin holders capable of significantly impacting the market? Andy Crypto turned to Sandman's data to gain insight into their behavior. Surprisingly, it was discovered that while uh, small shrimp holdings continued to increase, the larger shark and other lesser holdings remained relatively stagnant since uh, late October. This deviation from the trend observed between 2017 and 2020, uh, where smaller holders were on the rise, raised eyebrows. The decline in their holdings from 2020 to 2022 was to be gradual but accelerated after the FTX implosion. Meanwhile, the whale holdings experienced a rapid ascent from June 2022 to January 2023, but have since been slowly declining this year. This led to speculation about whether whales are gradually selling off their Bitcoin after it surpassed $30,000, securing profits along the way. Are the whales biding their time, waiting for another plunge in Bitcoin's price to increase their holdings once again. Only time will definitively answer this question. But for now, the crypto market remains in a state of anticipation with investors and enthusiasts eagerly watching the fluctuating trends. And now for a lighthearted twist on the subject. Why did the Bitcoin go to therapy? Because it had trouble finding its true bottom. With that said, thanks for watching, reading, and until next time.